stop. Still kind of busy, so we'll stop here for a minute. Uh, you've seen, you know, the Culberson Mansion over on Main Street. There's the Culberson family plot right here. Sam and all of his relatives are buried right there. The I think it was the first year we did stories behind the stones. Uh, the Culberson Mansion, the group that takes care of that, they do the uh, the mystery tours and the Halloween and Christmas and all. They came over here and they portrayed as oh. part of the uh, wow. as one of the scenes. That was that was a good one. I think there were five or six of them here. Oh. That was really good. Yeah. That was really good that night. Is this the fourth story behind the stone? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is. After this year, before we've just had five stories. After this year, starting next year, there's going to be a theme to each year. Uh, see, I got that in here somewhere. Yeah, next year is going to be disease, disasters, and the downtrodden. Uh, stories on uh, how ep epidemics and disasters affected you know, the city of New Albany. Uh, the year after that is New Albany's influence on the state of Indiana because that's uh, New Albany's bicentennial. Well, on the, the, oh, the yeah. state bicentennial. And then 2017 is Ladies' Night in the cemetery. <laughs> 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 stories, it's, it's all stories about how the ladies contributed, just strictly how the women helped build New Albany. But that's, that's in 2017. That's three years down the road. For the first year, we had the explosion of the... Uh, steamboat. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then um, Martha had uh, pigeon roost and. Do we have Lord Jones? Yeah. And Lord Jones yeah. that year. Mm -hmm. uh, Lord Jones. Well, uh, I'll talk about him a little bit as we go past his uh, plot over on the other side. That was one of my favorite stories. Was Lord Jones oh, and, and the yeah. way they did it. Oh yeah. Uh, was really good. Uh, the next scene we're going to is 101 years of the Tooley family in 10 minutes or less. <laughs> but basically it will cover 1809 to 1910. Uh, Mrs. Phoebe Haynes Woodruff Tooley will introduce the scene. She'll be the first one to talk and she'll cover the first 50 years and then Squire Tooley will cover the second 50 years. Now, uh, Phoebe was born in New Jersey in 1809 and moved to New Albany when she was five years old in 1814. So New Albany had just become uh, a city because it was 1813 when it was incorporated. Uh, yeah, it, it was a frontier town. It was, it was that. She was married in 1826, so that would make her 17 years old when she got married. Uh, they had nine children total. She died at the age of 72 in, uh, no, no, she died in 1872 at the age of 63. And she saw a lot of history, of early history, considering she came here the year after New Albany was founded. Uh, the second 50 years, George Tooley, he was the nephew to Phoebe, and she'll uh, tell you know how he came about and uh, his relationship, but he was born in New Albany in 1827 and died at age 83 in 1910. He was one. He was the first Thule to move to the area that we now call Silver Hills. He was the first Thule to move up there. He was originally buried on his farm on Sil around Silver Hills and then later moved to Fairview Cemetery. Now, let's see, Squire Thule no, Phoebe. Phoebe died, and this might be a story for uh, the, for next year. Phoebe died of what they call typhoid pneumonia. She had pneumonia. She had the fluid on her heart. She had pneumonia, but she also had typhoid fever, mm -hmm. and it was a very painful way to die. Uh, it was also called the spotted fever, the or the cold plague was another name for it. Uh, the illness usually started with a chill, and they called that the cold stage. And it quick, quickly went to uh, the, the aches and pains in the head and the backs and the limbs. And then muscular strength went away. There was restlessness. And it was not uh, within 24 hours a painful cough would start. And it was not unusual for uh, people to only last two to three days once they contracted it. 
uh, one of one of the one of the medicines or the treatments they had back then they used a lot was leeches. So they tried to suck the blood out so fresh blood could be made and try to cure it that way. I doubt if it worked very well, but but that's one of the treatments they had. Well, I think we can move along now.